everyone welcome back to my channel relapse tackle in this video we're going to be talking top coat so whether you're using a diamond finish uh, kbs or you're using a uv blast i put it in this jar just to make it i was going to fill up the whole thing but i haven't yet um so when you're going over jigs with eyes you want to make sure that if you're using the glue, make sure that that is fully cured before you put a top coat on over top of it because the less the fumes, when it's trying to cure, it's going to gas out. You're going to get bubbles on your around your eyes. So this KBS that I have here is a couple years old. I just popped the lid, but still good. Got a couple containers of this laying around and this one like i said is over a couple years old the key to this stuff is is putting the lid on and occasionally flipping the container upside down so it gets a little bit of it stuck to the top so if it's not sealed all the way when it flips upside down and get a little bit on there it'll help seal it and then you don't have to worry about it setting up inside here um, also if you're getting really low on the container, the more air that's in the container, the faster it's going to set up just sitting in the container. So like this, it's probably not good because it will, with all that air in there, it'll, it'll set up faster. So I need to fill this jar up or put this in a smaller container. We're going to use this uh, diamond finish though. So you want to take your jig, like I said, with the eyes, when they're glued on, you want them to be fully cured so you don't get those bubbles and then I got a jig turner my friend made me you can get a jig turner from a few different places I can leave a link in the description for a jig turner you can use like a smooth jaw needle nose pliers like this and just dip the whole head you know it'll drip but I've been seeing a lot of questions pop up with what to do with these clear coats and stuff and why they're not curing all the way well the, the KBS you have to use it in a room that has some moisture in it you can't have too dry of an area it needs that moisture to cure another thing that I do make sure that the head doesn't hit another thing that I do though is I like to use this little puffer so I can blow some of that extra right off of there and then I let this sit on the jig turner for about eight hours and then after that I hang it up on my rack up there I'll hang them all up on the rack and let them cure for a couple days I don't I would not package them right away because you want to make sure that that stuff is hard as a rock and fully cured. And you want a thin coat on it. You don't need anything real heavy. Alright, well, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, give the video a like, share it with your friends, and please subscribe.